Deep Agent already looked strong when it launched as a general AI agent platform. This new finance vertical pushes it into a different category. Seven connected tools sit on the same intelligence and act like an analyst team, a quant desk, a macro strategist, an options desk, and a risk manager all working together. The wild part sits in the way it thinks. It runs multi-step plans, visits real data sources, checks numbers, explains its logic, and shows every step in a chain of thought timeline. It screens, selects, compares, forecasts, and then turns everything into reports you can ship straight into a portfolio review or investment memo. For a long time, AI lived in prompts and toy demos. Here it starts to live in finance, where every decision touches real money. So in this video, the focus stays on that shift. An AI agent that already felt like a final boss now walks into one of the most complex industries on the planet and behaves like it belongs there. All right, so inside the new trading and investing vertical, Deep Agent runs seven main workflows on top of the same intelligence. The layout feels like a clean research terminal. The first piece targets crypto. Deep Agent looks at Bitcoin the way a real analyst would by reading the overall trend, checking how strong the move actually is, and understanding what different groups in the market are doing. It studies on-chain activity, sees whether big players are loading up or backing off, and spots the zones where volatility usually kicks in. Instead of scrolling through non-stop opinions on X, you get a clear, focused outlook that treats Bitcoin like a serious market asset instead of internet noise. Next comes intelligent stock screening for smarter investing. The AI scans the market with a multi-lens filter. Fundamentals like earnings growth, margins, valuation, and balance sheet strength run in parallel with technicals like momentum, breakouts, support, resistance, and volume spikes. On top of this base layer, it adds news flow and sentiment, so a company with solid numbers still drops in rank when headlines turn extremely negative. The output stays away from flat ticker lists. You see a set of names with specific reasons, narratives, and metrics that explain why each one surfaced. Then, the AI market researcher zooms out to the big picture. It checks sector heat maps, macro indicators, interest rates, volatility indices, and global indices. From there, it tracks how money rotates between themes. Capital flows from growth to value, from small caps to large caps, from tech into defensive names and back. Deep Agent reads these flows like a story and turns them into concrete ideas. For example, a semiconductor rotation with three highlighted names that carry strong fundamentals and momentum at the same time. Macro talk usually feels vague. Here, it turns into an actual list of actions with reasons behind each line. Then there is AI investment researcher that takes this further into the near future. It monitors signals across price, volume, macro data, and sentiment, then builds scenarios for the next session or the next few days. It highlights names that look ready to break out, sectors that show exhaustion, and areas where risk quietly builds under the surface. The goal stays clear, reduce reactive behavior and move you into a position where decisions happen ahead of major shifts, not after them. Options traders receive a separate brain called when AI becomes the investor. Instead of pushing out raw contracts, Deep Agent behaves like a portfolio manager having a structured conversation with you. It asks about risk tolerance, preferred time horizon, style of strikes, and views on direction. After it collects that context, it constructs a full options view. Strategies, payoff profiles, potential returns, risk exposure, and a prediction score that reflects the strength of the thesis. The flow feels closer to working with a senior investor who shapes a position around your profile than scrolling through endless chains alone. The AI portfolio analyst monitors everything at portfolio level. It tracks exposure by sector, asset class, factor style, and region. It highlights risk concentration where positions cluster around similar themes. It surfaces performance drivers, both positive and negative, and shines a light on laggards, over-leveraged positions, and quiet ticking bombs in the corner of the screen. Then it turns those diagnostics into concrete calls for attention before markets force the issue. This part of Deep Agent feels especially serious because it behaves exactly like a risk manager who never sleeps and never softens the message. Finally, the AI stock investor mode takes a single name, for example, Apple, and runs a full 90-day outlook. It layers fundamental analysis, technical structure, and sentiment into a unified view. 
It checks earnings, growth, margins, competitive position, price patterns, momentum, and news flow from both institutional and retail channels. Then, it builds a forward-looking thesis for the next three months. You see direction, key levels, scenario probabilities, and the main reasons behind each expectation. The focus stays on where the stock could move next and why, rather than on a museum tour of past price action. Now, to see how this actually works, you open the workspace, land on a clean center panel, and describe what you want. A simple request like recommending one long-term tech equity with full analysis is enough to trigger the entire workflow. The agent doesn't run off immediately. It pauses and asks for the key details it needs. It checks what long-term means for you, whether the horizon is three to five years or five to 10. It asks about risk tolerance, your preferred style, any subsectors you care about, and how you generally approach investing. It's a short clarification phase that sets the direction before any analysis begins. After that, the agent asks a second round of practical questions. It confirms the report format, the depth of analysis, and whether you want any specific screening constraints. You can pick an executive summary, a deep dive report, or both. You can keep screening wide open or narrow it down with constraints. Once these details are locked in, the system has enough structure to start building a complete complete research report. When the analysis is finished, the workspace splits into two parts. On the right side sits the final report. On the left side sits the full chain of thought, the internal reasoning process that shows how the entire conclusion came together. The agent lays out each step, the criteria it used, the sources it pulled from, the financial metrics it examined, and the logic behind every decision. It checks operating history, returns on invested capital, balance sheet strength, competitive position, and more. It pulls data from places like CNBC and Investing com, then builds conclusions in a transparent, step-by-step -step flow. The final report arrives in clean HTML with an executive summary at the top, followed by valuation context, intrinsic value estimates, earnings ratios, free cash flow patterns, and multi-year financial history. Sections like value investor interpretation show how the company fits into different investing frameworks and where it doesn't. The agent isn't afraid to point out mismatches or weaknesses. It simply presents the research as it is. Also, you can ask for additional comparisons or extensions for example, adding meta as a benchmark, and the system expands the analysis without starting over. All the new context stacks on top of the existing work inside the same workspace. Now, the report can be downloaded, copied, exported, or edited directly. Because it's rendered in HTML, you can open the code, adjust style elements, change colors, or modify layout. At that point, the output starts to feel like something you could hand to a client, publish internally, or use as part of a formal investment review. What makes all of this even more interesting is how close the finance industry already is to this shift. Over the last two years, major firms have been openly experimenting with AI-supported research workflows. Bloomberg built Bloomberg GPT, a finance-tuned large language model designed to help with tasks like news analysis and sentiment classification directly inside the terminal. BlackRock has been using machine learning systems for years in its systematic strategies, especially for analyzing large data sets and mapping risk. JP Morgan, Fidelity, and other institutions also rely on AI-driven tools to process news, scan filings, and identify patterns that are hard to catch manually. DeepAgent simply brings that level of tooling into a space where individual users can access it. A single person can now generate structured research that looks similar to what internal teams already produce with ML-driven systems. And once AI starts operating at this level for everyday investors, you can feel how close we're getting to true autonomous decision engines. What does it really mean for markets when an AI agent starts doing the kind of research entire teams used to handle? Tell me what you think in the comments and remember to subscribe and hit like so you don't miss what comes next. Thanks for watching and catch you in the next one.